Okay, we're gonna have a go at fixing this uh, front end over here again. So this is a repop of a knucklehead springer. So we're gonna put a disc brake wheel up onto it here and try to do the custom rocker arm mount. So we took off the stock rocker arms here. And we're gonna put on the custom ones over here. So I had to find some uh, studs to use. So there's our custom ones. So these are Paco studs here. So the Ultima front end didn't work. Or actually, these are another brand, but same thing. This is a copy of a DNA fork. So whoever you want to copy that from is that way. So anyway, these are uh, so these are Paco. Uh, for some reason, they put no groove in here for the grease, so I got a little bit good. The bushing sticks up a little bit on these, so I got to trim it down a little bit. So these go in there like that, and you tighten the nut down, and you should be good to go. So they get us little thin nuts over here. Stupid ass little lock washer is supposed to do something, I guess. And there you go. So, yep, that's about what it's going to be. So just enough to put a cotter key in there to hold it on. All right, so what I got to do is I got to get these trimmed down so that they'll fit. See if we ever going to do that. <coughs> First thing I is measure it. See where we're at. Full of grease and oil. Okay, we're eight eight six there. Eight eight seven. If you get off the bushing, it's eight six six. So it's twenty thou less because the bushing's sticking out. Twenty thou. So now you just forget how thick this is here. This side over here will tell us better. Looks like 888, 870, 880. So we gotta trim these down a little bit. So they're definitely sticking out too far. Let's see, what's the best way of doing that? Looks like they're flush on this side. <clears throat> so they're sticking up on this side, I guess. If you grind them off, you grind them unevenly, it wouldn't be very good. There's no good way of chucking them up in the middle and doing it, except off this part right here. So you can hold it on here and fly cut these down, get them pretty flat. True. Assuming it sits flat on this side. So let's see how flat and true we are. Consistently on the one side as well. <clears throat> so you put the stud in there, put your scale across the back side, look at it, and see what the gap is. Looks like we're negative about 10 thou at least. What a shocker. <clears throat> so 
looks like they assemble them the same way at the factory. So they always had the rocker arm like this. They pushed the bushing straight down until it bottomed out here on that side. Let's see how bad this really is. <clears throat> you never know for real until you do it. I'm thinking that's maybe too tight. Just, just a little bit. <clears throat> All right, so now we know. Of course, I already knew it. So I could feel it. All right, so we need to cut those down a little bit. I like the metal machine way of doing things. It's, it's quicker, basically, than grabbing your floppy disk and doing a crappy job. The only problem is my metal machine is full of crap right now because I could use it for a workbench. Limited space right here. All right. I'm going to find a new workbench around here. Okay, new workbench. <coughs> and out, move it again. Basically, we're going to chuck it up on top of that and cut it across here. Hopefully, it's flat. We'll have to find out. And we got chrome falling off the rock arm. Nice. Just my hand like that. That way, you know you're dealing with good stuff. See how flat it is now. Get the parallel of the test sample. Gotta find one, find one of them that's right highest though. Alright, a little closer you can see better. You know what we're doing. <coughs>
20 is going to be the magic number. Trying to make this flat, so see that one's tight, that one's loose. So we know it's not flat, so we need more shimmer of this one. The only problem is my gauge is out at 20, it maxes out. Let's do something different. Probably should have sanded this too to make sure it's flat on this side here. We didn't do that yet. Grab a piece of sanding paper right here. Run across there to knock off the high stuff. Kind of more, it's hitting on the chrome all the way around a little bit now. A little more even it was. That's a plus. Okay, this is too thin. Let's see how thick it is. Oh, let's see, looks like we're about this thick. We are. Oh, we got about 80. Six. We need something around a 95 to 100. 105 don't work. Another 80. Another 100. 105. That's the only one we had it out of thickness. Shim. Something to work with. Let's do the other rock around while we're at it here. Camera's out of view. Oops. Ten under there. It's no longer hitting on there anymore because I've grown out the high spots. I think we can almost use one of those parallels now.
Perfect. Towel and a half shim. I know it in there. It's close enough for me. Alright, that worked out pretty good. Get the birds out of the way, things fit a lot better. Imagine that. With no shims, it'll won't vibrate as much either. Okay, use my little face mail here. Knock that surface down with. Down. Gotta go up a little bit. What's nice about this, uh, we can take exactly off what we need to. Yes. Pretty rough cut. Must be a pretty dull cutter. Probably is. Whichever one's hitting, they ain't very sharp. They all look like crap. Yep. Show which one this one is hitting on. Probably this one here, the dullest one. It's got the big turd sticking up on it. Right, I'm going to sharpen the bits a little bit here. A little cheap. And we need to sharpen them. So we'll go over here and do a little sharpening. So we got our diamond grinding wheel right here. sharper.
you sharpen too many times to get below the surface here, and you have rubbish problems. Looks like we're getting close to that. Alright. Let's get a look at this to see. Of course, it's really dark in here right now. Yeah, I'll turn some lights on in this place would help. So, like I said, after you grind them too many times, you run out of clearance here on the back side. So, we have just a little bit of clearance. Only a few thou, not much. Can't keep grinding them like this forever. At some point, they become too small. Of course, I keep grinding them anyway. Now, not all three of these are hitting, so I'm not sure which one is the dull one and the sharp one. Maybe they're all dull. All right, I'm gonna clean these up and answer the phone. I'll be back. What are we doing? Working on Walker. Hi. Nobody's gonna be happy. Everyone hates me, so it's all right. Okay, this one's on now. They got two different width nuts too, because the fork legs are two different widths, and surprisingly the front one is fatter than the back one. Huh. So you use a thick nut in the back, skinny nut in the front. Then I put a heat treated washer in between here to wear against the bushing, but I don't think it's going to work too good. So doesn't look like it's big enough in diameter. So I'll probably wind up taking that back out. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. We'll look at it in a minute. Okay, here you go. We gotta go back and cut this rock arm now like I did this one. So this side has been flush cut already or sand to make sure it's flat. Now I can flip it over and knock these off. See how they stick up a little bit right here? You can hear it. We gotta zoom you off. I am zooming. Okay, good. Now let's see if these rock arms are even remotely close to each other. You can see right there. Wrench, oh, it's on it. It's a capital around here. It looks pretty close. I'm gonna go with that. Okay, where we are? Uh, number. Somebody moved my damn wheel. I think it was on zero. I bet it been on zero. I think somebody moved it on me. Did you move it on me? No. Sure. Yep. Yeah. Some new sharp cutter cuts better. These bushes have a lot of copper in them, that's why they don't cut very good. So you don't hit them up? Good idea. <laughs> the thinnest piece of metal I've ever seen. These are thick. They're thin off a thousand and a half. The half, the uh, one thousand ones are thinner. Okay, let me get right there because they're both the same. Okay. Good job. Okay, we go from uh, 92. Let me do another five. I'm going to get a couple more. Get you? Try it. Still use a crappy finish.
Be like they're still up in the air, don't it? They kind of look like it. You can see a little bit of shadow on there. Okay, I'm going to go to zero this time. Straight to zero. Boom's not coming off, so that's a good sign. Yep. Got to keep that chrome on there. Oh, yeah. You've got to have that chrome. Heaven forbid if we lost that chrome. Your favorite thing is ruining chrome. He didn't like that filing I did the other day. Oh, he did not like it. He was mad. He was real mad. You could hear the disappointment in his voice. <laughs> <laughs> It hurt my feelings too. <laughs> that looks pretty good. Yeah, but does it work? We're about to find out. That's why there's two over there. See, we're not supposed to work over here, so we're in here for blowing. This is not the work area over here. Negative. Except we're working here anyway. Okay, now they didn't put no oil groove in the bushing and no oil groove in the stud, so you can the grease. So the grease is free to go out where it wants to, which means it's not going to lubricate the bottom of the bushing when you need it. So that should be done? It should be, but it didn't happen, so it's not happening. Remember that for later. Now these are the heat treated washers here. Notice how the precision fit. Now, if I put this on there, it only hits a little bit of the steel. So the washer should be a little bit bigger in diameter than this, to be correct. So this washer is not quite big enough. It really be a hundred percent perfect. What percentage would you give it? Well, we're only getting fifty percent contact on that side. We're almost a hundred percent here because there's no bushing over here. Remember, the bushing's going to wear away. Then it'll just be a steel. Otherwise, it wears on the fork and eats the fork away. And you don't want to wear away the so fork. You want to eat up the bushing, or, or eat up the fork? Which one do you think is worse? It's a toss-up. Okay, fat one goes in the back. Let's see right there. Oh, it's worn out. Damn. Loosey goosey. ugly ones putting on these chrome ones. There you go. Chrome. It makes it go faster, I was told. Not the chrome my race bike now to go faster, right? Yep. I might have totally been way zoomed in and didn't think about zooming out just now. So I'm sorry viewers. No you're not. Yeah I don't care. <laughs> I'm thinking this stud is uh got some issues with it. Maybe it's the bushing. Definitely looks like there's a little lip on that bushing there. There we go. What? Precision made in China is not good parts? No. Never happen. Never ever happen. Oh, look at that. Oh, it moves. Nice and free. Okay, next problem. Putting axle. the bottom one on? Axle. Where is that axle? On the walk tight. I do the axle. It's right there. 
Yeah, that looks like an axle. Not, not that. That's not an axle. Oh, here it is. You're hiding that from me, aren't you? Of course. Is it long enough? Barely gets on the top where it belongs. See, everything got wider when we did that. Mm. Now, this is the spacer that came on the axle, but that's not the spacer kit we're going to use with our brake. Okay, so Front brakes? Yeah, right there. Yeah, I know, you're not used to that. <laughs> hey, so you're putting that whole wheel on tonight? I'm doing it tomorrow, or last night. <laughs> except, tomorrow, last night? Except something happened. To last night? Something happened last night. Customer came in and bothered me for about three hours. That's that's a bold lie. I don't I don't believe you at all. <laughs> all right, grease. This is not Maxima. This is other stuff. I think it's Kendall. I found a tub of it. It's almost blue. Now this is probably a lifetime lubrication being assembled right now. Which means we're going to have some issues. That's a clean rag too. Okay, I'm going to put the washers on here just for the hell of it. Zip gun. I'm using it. I need you to zip this this cam gear down. Jeez. I know it's got that little goofy fucking fitting. And whoever took this motor apart didn't realize that and used a fucking wrench or something stupid. All right. Well, give me a minute here. Yeah. You didn't finish that fucking front end, Art. <laughs> Fuck you. Been working on it for five hours yesterday. Come on. You're not charging this guy by the hour. I know. Yes, we are. Shut up. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck me, whoever's farting in that is. Come on, quit saying that. Damn it. <laughs> oh, don't say that out loud. Right? <laughs> As we're recording. Huh. Where's that edit button? Oh, yeah, I don't have that button. Slap it on that Loctite. Uh, you want me to use these? Yes. I don't think so. They work good against powder coat. <laughs> You'll never get those things off. size. That's my smallest one. Yeah, we don't need it anyway. Okay, here's where we need to be. That one work. Where's the other one? <laughs> Needs a little work. Yeah, it's one hole off. I don't think I can get another hole out of that one. Nope, <laughs> sorry. There was a damn hole out. Oh, imagine that. Barely works. I'm going to have to trim that a little bit. 
a little. Now, do I tighten out at the whole turn or leave it loose? I tighten it. Because it's going to wear in anyway. You don't think that powder coat's going to give? That's why I tighten it. <laughs> there it is. Yeah, I don't think it moved. <laughs> it's the same spot it was. I don't know if I can get this into it now. No. It didn't get any tighter. No. Oh, it might have got closer. Just I can't put this in there now. Appears to be a little tight. There you go. I did it. Last guy just said leave it loose. <laughs> We're not doing that. Fuck you, good once. For an end comes apart, it's over. Yeah, we don't have to worry about it coming apart, do we? That's what I'm saying. You only live once, so fuck it. If it comes apart, fuck it. You only live once. It's over. Yeah, it's gonna be bang and it's over fast. <laughs> Last famous words. Oh shit. What are you trying to do? Hurt myself. I used to be a pair of pliers up there. Somewhere. There you go. I don't think it's there. Try to rotate them out of the way where they don't get you. This one will cut off a little bit and fold it around like that is. Yeah. Okay, that one's done. Cool. Let me make the other one work. And the parts. You stealing my parts again? Always. Parts thief around here. Check out my e -boy store, it's really dope. <laughs> Some of my shirts on your site now? Yep. New shirts coming soon. Check out TatrumMachine.com. Yeah, they're going to make it just before Christmas, right? Yep. No, this next Christmas, not this one. <laughs> Christmas 2020. Better late than never. <laughs> yep. I did get two new colors, though. Secret though, what they're going to be. How long is that grease going to allow you to live in there, you think? I don't know. What kind of grease is it? It's uh, blue. As soon as you start the bike and roll off the sidewalk, <laughs> it'll be gone? Gushing out the sides and it's out of there. Now for the fun part. Oh, forgot something. What did I forget? Loctite. There you go. Why wouldn't you put it in after you put it through the, through the fucking... Because I want to do it this way first. It evenly distributes across the hole as you assemble it. Does anybody believe that? <laughs> I personally would think you're full of shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I went to the bathroom today, I think. <laughs> it's coming out your mouth right now. Oh, the other one. <laughs> the other asshole. <laughs> the other hole. Where's that hole at? That's in the middle. There you go. Oh, 
Oh, jeez. I want to move the lock real quick. <laughs> loose this flat wood. I need that loose. <laughs> Put a lot of torque on that thing. See, it goes quicker on this one. I got experience. See. <laughs> So why am I putting in this direction? So they don't wrap on each other. No, because it doesn't poke me. That too. I don't like to bleed. Plus aerodynamically, the air goes this way. <laughs> that all matters. On a race bike, it all matters. Kids gonna move? Maybe. Maybe. It might move, it might not move. Is that what you're saying? There's a chance. Where's your cardboard protector up? I don't know. Screw yeah, the crap. <laughs> stiff. Well, I moved it a little bit. It's oh. moving. I'm not heavy enough. It's moving. Yeah. It moved. All right. Rockers are installed. Let me get work on the wheel and axle next. There you go. We'll be back.